PricewaterhouseCoopers has suggested that the Malaysian government consider indirect taxes as a way to increase revenues. PwC Senior Executive Director Wan Heng Chun says many countries have done well by introducing such levies such as the goods and services tax. Speaking in Kuala Lumpur on Thursday, Wan said Malaysia's economy is in a fairly strong position, enabling it to introduce a GST at the minimum 6% rate. Now, 4% was the government's take on what would be a tax-neutral position. Tax-neutral meaning GST would give the same amount of revenue as the current sales tax and service tax. And if you think about it, GST is a tax on consumption. And therefore, it's a much fairer tax. Right? And therefore, you can choose what you spend on. But because it broadens the tax base, my estimate is that it will deliver significantly more than what the government has estimated at the moment. So 6%. Right? And, and, and I think that 6% will deliver anything more, anything between 3 to 4 billion on top of what the government is collecting now. He said the government could introduce a GST as early as 2014 because businesses need between 12 and 15 months to prepare for the new tax system. The time frame would fit with the government's aspiration to reduce budget deficit to 30% in 2015. And once introduced, he said it would be possible for the government to reduce individual and corporate taxes to appropriate levels.